When you're talking about three-dimensional solids, there's some key terminology that you need to know. The first is a vertex. A vertex is a point, not a line or a plane, but it's a point where three or more faces intersect. When you have two faces that intersect, you're going to create an edge. So an edge is going to be a line segment. Bases are going to be polygons. And in a prism, these bases are going to be congruent and parallel. The lateral faces are the sides of the solid that are in between the bases. If you drew a perpendicular segment, if you just picked a certain point on this prism, on one base, you drew a perpendicular segment to the other base. If that point intersects in the exact same spot on the corresponding base, then you have a right prism. However, let's say you've shifted that prism a little bit. This is going to be called an oblique prism. So if I picked this front top right corner, and if I dropped an altitude from here, it should have fallen right on this front right lower corner. However, it didn't. So the altitude that I dropped from here will be outside of that prism. So that's one way that you can determine if a prism is oblique. If you're comparing the volume of an oblique prism and a right prism, with the same bases and the same height, you're going to have the same volume. However, the surface areas will be different. This right prism will have a lower surface area than this oblique prism. So keep these terms in mind whenever you're talking about surface area or volume of three-dimensional solids.